Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and in this tutorial series, we'll be using the ball tool and hard surface modeling to create this sci-fi crate. Now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when the next video comes out. But you know what, let's just kind of get into it and we'll just go from there. So first things first, let's enable the ball tool. So from here, we go into edit, preferences. In the search, I'm just gonna type in ball, and enable that ball tool, there we go. So now from here, let's go shift A mesh. I'm gonna add in a cube and let's kind of just run through what the ball tool actually does. So let's shift D duplicate this cube and I'm just gonna leave it there. Selecting the top cube, shift left click, select the next cube. Now to bring up the ball tool menu, we'll go through the shortcuts a little bit later, but to bring up the menu, control shift B brings up our menu. And here we can see we can do difference, union, intersect or slice. So from here, the top half, we've got the difference, the union, the intersect and the slice, and we have the same here. But the bottom half is the brush and up here's the auto Boolean. So what will happen is automatically when I click difference, for instance, it applies all our modifiers and removes that cube. And we can see that we've got our hole. If I now go control Z to undo that, control shift B again, and I go with the brush Boolean difference, here we've still got our cube and if we come over to the modifiers the boolean modifier is still there and i can still move this cube around and it does its damage i guess if you want to call it that let's go Control z so that is the difference Control shift b now this is union so now this is all one object Control z let's undo that Control shift b is our intersect so we're only looking at the piece where they've connected Control z Control shift B once again, and this is slice. So now we've kind of made a cutout. Now this is one thing to be wary of, is that if I were to go back into control Z, select our masterpiece, I guess if you want to call it, come over into the modifiers and we add in a bevel. If I do our cutter and then our masterpiece, control shift B and anything from auto Boolean, you'll see that it applies the modifier automatically so we can no longer unbevel. So that's something to keep in mind. So this is why control shift B, the, the brush Boolean would be a little bit more important. Slice, there we go. So we still got our bevel sitting up the top. Now, obviously because our Boolean has come after our bevel, if we move the bevel down, now all our pieces are beveled. Well, except for this one, because we're going to do the same for this one as well. Get up there, buddy. There we go. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and start creating something. So here we are in a brand new blend file. Let's press delete to delete that default cube. Shift A mesh and we'll re-add a cube because we always get rid of the default cube. I don't know, it's just an unwritten rule. Now I want this kind of sci-fi crate to be more boxy. And to start off, what I'm actually gonna do is erase it so it's kind of like on zero. So let's go tab into edit mode, G, Z, one. And now that's raised it to the center there. So first thing I want to do is maybe we can cut a top in it. So let's go shift A, let's add in a plane. I'm going to scale that G Z and we'll bring that up. So that's how small the top's going to be. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode, control R to add in an edge loop, control B to do a bevel, and then control B again to do another bevel. And for those of you who are regulars on my channel, know I love this little cut. Um, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, it helps me out. So now we've kind of got this cut. From here, I wanna do a slice. So with our cutter selected, our masterpiece selected, control shift B, I'm just gonna use the brush Boolean and go slice. And now you can see that here we've got our top. Well, you can't really see it. I can't pull it apart because I haven't applied this Boolean, but it may be a better way so we can see it is I'm just gonna quickly add in a bevel and then we'll add in a bevel on our secondary piece as well. There we go, just so we've got that little Boolean bevel, gosh. Next, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna make kind of like a little handle here. So let's go Shift A, I'm only gonna make it on this side. So let's go Scale, let's kind of bring it in there like so. G to the Z, um, probably on this side in here. I'm just gonna go G, Y and bring it back. So it kind of like angles in, G to the X, push it in like so. Let's do that. Control shift B. Well, actually, no, let's do the shortcuts. Control numpad minus. There we go. So we, now we've got that deleted. Now the cool thing is I can select this piece here 
and we can actually live edit it. So if I kind of want to make this piece go a little bit deeper, I can. And there we go. So now it's, seen, now it's got plenty of room to go and get your hand in there. Let's grab this, G to the Z, bring it up a little bit. There we go. So that's looking quite nice. Once again, I don't have the bevel in place yet. So for instance, what I'm talking about is because I'm just trying to reiterate this. The bevel is above the cut, but if we move it here, we can see now that we've got our bevel. From here, what do I want to do? I reckon I want to make some sort of kind of uh, paddling here or something, paddling, paneling here, just to make something a little bit ornate. So let's go shift A, let's go into mesh. Let's go like this, whoops. Let's just rotate this plane. So it's sitting like so, I'm gonna go G, X, bring it back. I'm gonna select that one vertice, control I to invert my selection, delete vertice. So what, what does this mean? So from here, I can come up to something like that, E to extrude, let's go on the Y axis, E to extrude on the Z axis, E, and hold control and it kind of snaps to our grid at the moment, which is good. E to extrude, there we go. Something like that, we'll bring this back around. E to extrude along the Z axis. And so as you can see, I'm kind of just drawing this out. I'm gonna select those two, press F. It's probably on a bit of an angle, so I'm gonna go scale on Y zero. And now we know that's perfectly straight. From here, I'm just gonna select everything, press F to create a face. Let's go E to create an inset. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a mirror modifier along the Y axis. Let's grab everything. And what I want it to do is just go in a little bit. From here, let's select that control numpad minus. And we can see that actually hasn't worked. Now this is where normals are very important. So if I go control Z, Let's come up here to the top and we will select face orientation. We can see that this is red. So it's actually facing the wrong way. So let's select our red pieces, select all shift N to flip the normals. So now it's blue. Let's turn off face orientation. Let's come back in here, control numpad minus. And there we go. So now we've got our cut, um, kind of meh. I reckon we might throw another bevel in here, control B to do a bevel. So we've got something like so. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this piece in here. So let's bring that around. And so you can see just kind of like how much we can actually move around with pieces that we don't like. And we can obviously come in and create some new materials. Um, what I actually might do is go mirror on the X axis. And so we've done a cutout on the back as well. Now let's do a cutout on the side. Let's go shift A, let's add in a plane, rotate X 90 degrees, G to the Y, uh, G, Z, let's bring it up. I'm gonna scale that in, scale on the Z, G, Z, mm, scale on the X now. From here, let's do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go edge loop here, two edge loops here. Let's grab, GG to move that one to the top, GG, move that one to the bottom. Let's select everything, merge by distance. So now everything's one piece. I'm gonna press I to do an inset and you'll see it looks like rubbish, but if I press I again, it still looks like rubbish. <laughs> Let's kind of go to about here. Control I to invert our selection, delete vertices. So now we've kind of got these panels. I'm gonna select everything, Control Shift B to bevel a vertice. And then let's use the mouse wheel up to kind of add some more um, roundness. Select everything, E to extrude. Let's bring that in. Bring this all the way in. So we've kind of got that piece in there. From here, I'm gonna add in that mirror modifier on the Y axis. Yep, so we've got now on the other side, shift, Left click, let's go control, numpad minus. Darn it, the normals are facing the wrong way again. So let's select this box, shift N. There we go, now we've kind of got this cut out here. That's pretty cool. I think this one is a little bit too close to the edge because I do plan on doing something. So let's come in, 
wireframe. Let's select these G to the Y. Just move it over a smidgen. There we go. So that's part one of this tutorial series. So once again, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out. It keeps up to date my content and also helps you keep up to date with this tutorial series. If you want to ask some questions, just leave a comment below or jump over to my Discord. And until next time.